What's up guys? Uh, so today I'm going to be doing another video and today it's a special video. It's mine and my wife's uh, wedding anniversary. So I decided I'm going to do a video while she's at work. So today I'm going to be doing, or not doing, but I'll be using uh, Sterling's Coniferous. I love this scent. I love this scent of pine. So uh, the razor I'll be using is the King C. Gillette, and I just put a fresh new uh, Astra uh, green in there. The, the brush I'll be using is my synthetic from uh, Amazon that I bought. Let me get my face wet. I just woke up a little while ago. I'm probably going to take a nap today. Um, my daughter basically was up, I don't want to say half the night, but like the most of the night, like getting fed, but I, I was super tired. I'm actually going to use the bowl too. So I'm going to use the bowl. I have no clue where I'm going to put in my uh, the my I'm looking for my uh, my Allen block, but I can't figure out where the heck it went to. some water on this thing. There it goes. I'm still not used to using a synthetic, so. I'm used to using bore brushes and, and uh, badgers. First pass. Yeah, we uh got married at Disney uh years ago. It's actually still cold. We got married what now is called Disney Springs, but back then it was called uh, Downtown Disney, so. And I loved where we got uh, married at though, because we got married on top of uh, Fulton's Crab House, which is very ironic because uh, it, it, it fits so perfectly because back in 2011, 
it was my very first time going to Disney, so. That was, I don't know, like, uh, 28 going on 29. When we went. And the first place that we had for supper while we were there was Fulton's Crab House. So, at downtown Disney. So, what a perfect way to get married. The first place uh, you had to eat is where you got married. So, I think it was pretty cool. Although names have changed and with uh, the crab house itself, it's, it's actually a boat, but now it's called Paddlefish and Downtown Disney is not called Downtown Disney anymore, it's called Disney Springs, but every time we go there, I reminisce every time we go with that. Hey, this is where we got married. So. And living down here, it actually, uh, every time we go, I do it all the time. I'm like, hey, that's where we got married, you know. So I like, She's like, I don't know how. Second pass, by the way. I love the smell of coniferous. Especially this time of year because it's fall and I'm a former hunter, so being in the woods. smelling the pine and and all the trees, you know, like it, it takes me back. It takes me back when I used to hunt. I started hunting uh, a while back because uh, one when I moved down here it was like I got so acclimated to the weather it wasn't even funny. And two it, like, it just gets so cold up where my cabin sits, and I don't do cold weather. That's why we moved down here to Florida. Now, when I was a young boy, on the other hand, I used to love the cold weather, but since I, since I, uh, uh, grew up in Michigan, you know, it got to the point where I'm like, I don't like this anymore. I didn't like the cold, I didn't like going out in the cold. I hate shoveling, so. Now, if I remember right, uh, uh, Aaron from Double A Shave said he lived in like, I want to say like Maine or Massachusetts for a while. And he could probably relate with that with the snow and, and uh, the coldness. Like anywhere, you know, like from Michigan to Indiana to from uh, Chicago, New York, you know, like anywhere where it's cold. And I know there are people who like the cold and grew up and were like, oh, I love it. I love this stuff. I couldn't. Like, I, like, that moment we decided to move down here to Florida, I think it was the best 
thing for me because uh, for a very, very long time, like, and I don't, I don't know why, but like, uh, I'd always get like extreme nosebleeds during the winter time. And, and I'm not talking about just like one time. I'm talking about like a daily occurrence. You know, like. And I'm talking about like it would be like. It'd be in the middle of the day, or I would be waking up from uh, from having a nosebleed. It was that dry or you know, if anyone suffers from nosebleeds, you know what I'm talking about. They just completely suck. Especially if you're like in the middle of sleeping and you feel it coming on, you know. But when we moved here in 2014, April of 2014, so we've been living here for eight years. And we got married in October of. Uh, 2014, so we've been married for eight years, so, not quite a decade yet, but almost, that wouldn't change anything about it, I'm going to do a fourth pass, just because I want to talk to you guys. Anywhere you guys live, are you guys uh, experiencing any snow yet, or the bitter cold, or is it still like, or is it still like warm enough that it hasn't snowed yet? I uh, read last week that uh, up in Marquette, Michigan, uh, they uh, were getting, well, they're, they were going to go get snow. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I still like snow. I just don't like, like, I wouldn't mind snow if it wasn't the wind. The wind does it for me. Because the wind is the kicker. Especially because my dad, uh, he used to live uh, right on a lake in Michigan and in the wintertime. God. Like, you get the winds off that lake, and good lord, it was, it was pretty bad. But now him and my stepmom, they live here in Florida during the winter months. Fall and winter months, so they don't deal with that nonsense any longer either. They go back up in uh, April or May, stay to like August, September. a little bit. These guys can tell my goat is coming in fairly good now. For about 
what, a week and a half I'm waiting for that being uh, uh, no shave November. I started barely because I know how my goatee is. Coniferous. Love this one. If you guys don't have it, highly suggest you get it. Especially if you like uh like like pine or tree. Like because to me, this is like the definition of pine. And I love the smell of it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I will see you in the next video. Until then, happy shaving. Bye.